this session will take a look at working with the tritone monochromes from the Color Factory plugin for Corel Draw. And I'm going to collapse the object manager here and we'll zoom out and take a look at how these work. We take the original image and we actually split the dark or the black, the midtone and the 50% gray, and we pull the highlight. Then we convert those to monochrome. From those monochromes, we get a black and white monochrome that's composed of those three components. And I'm going to open my object manager back up so we can look at this. This on top is the midtone. In the middle is the dark tone. On the bottom is the highlight. And I'll hit Control Z and go back. Now these are set to a subtract mode to make them look better so the colors blend better. Now we have included with the tritones 150 tritone presets and we can see some of these presets here. Now the important thing about the tritone presets is that if we want to work with them we have to lasso select make sure that we have all three of that tritones monochrome selected and then we can look at the different tritones and I'll double click here and we can see how that looks now when we zoom in you see some whiteness there but when you zoom all the way and you see it doesn't show up that's just the way it renders in Corel Draw but you can go through these tritones and look at some very different looks based on working with the dark tone the mid tone and the highlight now if you want to adjust these colors we've got all these selected let's say you want to do some work with the dark tone you can select that that's set to that darker red there but you could go to a maroon on that just by right clicking in your menu or going to your color docker and we'll go to the show color viewer and we can start to make some adjustments to that as it's set to outline now I could go to my midtone, select that, my color will change as you can see there. Maybe I'll bring that into a little lighter or a little darker, blend that down in a little bit more like that and start to work on these tritones. And these give us the ability to create some designs like you can see here. I've removed the dark tone from this and I have just the highlight and the midtone. And that is my midtone right there. So I can make adjustments to that here in the docker once I've selected it and do some things with it and really dial in how I want that to look as a monochrome using the color of the shirt as the dark tone. Here I've got one set up as a square on a shirt with a three with Marilyn Monroe. And here I've got one where I've taken it apart or sliced it different ways and changed the colors for a kind of retro effect against the red shirt. And here I've got the tritone for the owl with the 150 presets and we can see the effect on the owl here. And I can go back to my presets once again and we can look at different things. I'll come down through here and I'll take a look at this tritone blue burgundy blue gray tones. Double click on that. Make sure I have everything selected and I'll get that effect. Now, if I'm not happy with that, I can go to another one. Double click on that. See how that looks. And that's a really interesting look. So I can work with the tritones to get really interesting looks for my t-shirt designs, doing things a little differently, again, with a very limited number of colors. And that's how our tritones work. And we have 150 presets available for the tritones and your tritone work in Corel Draw with the monochromes. We'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.